Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 Mod Showcase with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys and girls are all okay, enjoying your day. Right, um, this is a bit of a two-parter mod showcase. This is the Honey Farm and it's version 1.1 of this and this over here is the uh, the sawmill paper edition and it's 1.1.5 of this mod um, of course I will leave a link in description down below for both these two mods and another mod which this mod does um, the, it's by the name of the modder of the name of the snake I've covered quite a few of his um, mods in the past um, now some of those to go, talking over some of those mods um, I've covered um, he's got a lot that rely on empty pallets to work now a lot of those mods rely on you can use in conventional standard mod pallet production um, it pretty much took pretty much any empty pallet this only takes from what I can understand only takes pallets from his mod which is this sawmill and uh, paper production and everything else um, again like I said I will leave links in the description down below um, for both these two and the little warehouse which he does as well you don't necessarily have to have the warehouse in order to sell the honey though um, it does work with the uh, other um, mod showcase which I showed off which was the honey production stuff um, I'll try and put a link in the top right hand corner now to that um, but you'll find that on the uh, on the hub the mod hub anyway um, anyway I've waffled on enough um, obviously if you guys are watching this at a later date he may have come in and changed the functionality of this mod and how they both work so please bear that in mind if you are watching this at a later date um, but anyway, um, you'll find them both in placeables. Um, okay, the sawmill, it's cost of 250,000 and 10 whatever you're working in per day in maintenance. The honey production, this is the stuff, the LS community, um, the slow bee as it's called, slow bee honey production, it will work for this, the sales point on this anyway. Um, so if you've got that in and you just didn't want you want to cut out some of this you can um, by using this mod but then you obviously have to use the sawmill because it doesn't quite work but anyway that's the honey part of it that costs 50,000 to purchase and it's 10 pounds to in well 10 whatever currency you're working in per day in maintenance right um to buy them it's a generic problem with the snake he I don't know what it is but he tends to prefer placeables to land on very flat land as long as you've got good solid flat land you're good it'll go in you'll get no problems of glitching whatsoever um, but obviously because this is demo I've got it on this field here so you are seeing a bit of glitching um, it w is a bit forgiving it will allow you to put it on uneven terrain but obviously the more even it gets the more well glitching you'll get um, and I'll show you the sawmill so I'll buy that or not buy buy but I'll go to buy it again they're both rotatable you can move them around from left to right again as you can see this is quite a large placement so do bear that in mind you're going to need a good solid flat land again for this to work um, now I'm not 100% sure whoops don't just ignore that guys that's another error there's errors are not from this mod I don't believe they're from another mod I've got running um, I think it's the seed and fertilizer one but anyway uh, so you do need a good bit of flat land for it to produce and like I said I don't know for sure if it's just that now the modder has decided to only use his own placeable or if it's a completely new script which is a freely available from other newer mods it says I've got older mods which 
tend to not work with that palette. And I'll show you, going to demonstration, you guys may have also come across this problem. Let me find my telehandler. So I think I've still got it parked up by the main farm I have. Take the shuttle mode off. Turn the beacon on. You see, now I've got this palette here. Um, now, this would work on any of those other mods which I did showcases for, such as the. Um, was it the fruit farm and the rest of them? Anything else that I've done which features empty palettes for it to work, it works fine. Including the barrel one, which was the whiskey and rum one, or whatever it was, and um, forget the name now. But I need this telehander down there anyway. I forgot to bring it down before starting, which is a bit of a shame, but I can't have everything. But if you've, hit, you've literally you got into this situation, as you can see, it says empty pallet on there. There's no denying what I'm carrying with some empty pallets. If you've got your own generic on map um, about the pallet production you may be running against this problem yourself so right hang on if I yeah, cause my wheel is still technically still commanding the uh, the telehandler front as well, I've still not sorted that but as you can see it's work it's running but it's not taking these pallets and you might have come up against it and gone oh why is it not taking my pallets? Oh right okay yeah this um this mod's no good um it's not gonna work whatsoever um delete it throw it away or if you've got your own placeable palette script or palette station I'll come off this palette typical giant's physics for the win I'll tip it off I think it's the only way it's going to come off come on Glitch through that palette, what's happened? Come on. Come on, see? Defying gravity. Maybe I can. There we go. So I can get that thing off. Alright. I'll park this over here for now. Because we need this in a minute. Right, so you've run across that problem. I'm going to show you how to address that problem in a second. Um, but there is one other bit to this flower part. Um, in order to buy the flowers, um, you need to go to pallets and you need to buy flowers. They cost 800 whatever currency you're working in to buy and they appear at your vehicle shop so that's where they appear um, I've already bought some off screen so it saves time going down the shop and getting it as you can see this is what they look like you'll see they look like little pots of flowers and you just basically get your telehandler or 
front loader, whatever you've got. Or if you've got superpowers, use those as well. I've got none of which to at the moment, so bear with me, peeps. It's a problem with the telehander. I don't know why they just didn't make it so it was adjustable. Make the forks adjustable, because realistically you can adjust the size of the forks. But anyway, I digress. What we need to do is almost went through too far. See, so I'll just drive, drive them into here. And as you can see, little flower beds are start appearing. I'll do another one so you guys can see that again because I've kind of goofed up there. Maybe this side, inside view, will probably be a bit better, more beneficial for me. I'm trying to see it from the side. And I'll probably can see it better from inside, maybe. There we go. There we go. Oops. He says, there we go. I'll get it again. That's scraping against the side of the side of the truck, I suspect. I'll put it out that way. Giants physics for the win. Right. Again, just drive it up to the flowers. Should uh, disappear, and you should see more flowers appearing. Right, cool. Right, now I'm going to just kind of go off here, and I'll show you how this thing all works. Okay, first things first. You need sawdust. Now this doesn't actually tip the way it should do. Um, don't get the tip symbol. You have to so like park it roughly is roughly in the middle. Doesn't have to be spot on. And then use left control and I, or right control and I, any control I do. Start tipping in. Doesn't matter if it spills over. So I think this uses the same sort of like um, mechanics as the sawmill does, the regular Maru sawmill, the updated version of it anyway. Once that's in, just double check you have got that working. You should see that it says fuels. I'm not sure if it does take saw, uh, sorry, um, straw or not. You'll have to try that for yourselves, peeps. Um, and next, you're going to need logs. But I've just remembered I forgot to bring the log truck tractor down here. So let me just pause it here and I'll go and get it. And then uh, I'll continue on. Okay guys, welcome back. Right, I'm just literally picked up some logs. Um I'll show you where you need to drop them off on the mod. So if I just sneak around here and actually get out for an outside pan shot and try and get around all this other bits of equipment. Let's take the straps off. 
Everything on this building is collidable, including those posts, so bear that in mind. Just drive over that patch or drop the logs on that patch, depending on what you want to prefer. Just, just leave this here, turn it off. Jump out. Right, so now just to confirm, it is um, ready to go, so it's got fuel. Um, like I said, I don't know if it takes both um, wood chips and uh, straw or just wood chips, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but the, I'll start up the mill. Oops, wrong one. As you can see, the uh, emanation is quite cool actually. As it, it appears on that side, but then if you watch the logs come off of here, it's like a cool train, the logs rolling off of there and down into the chute. It's pretty cool. But I could probably throw those logs onto it if I really wanted to. Let's get rid of them. Started. They should just maybe dropping on there. Maybe it's just to grab them and throw them on. Use my super, super duper strengths. Pick them up. Not too much hassle. Be a bit too much log for yeah, a bit too much obviously. 83, that's probably going to make it over 100, so I can only assume. So, um, we'll just fast forward speed a bit. Right, as you can see, um, this is where the recycled paper juices. Um, I can get round without getting caught. This is where the empty pallets produces, so that's where they come out, the trigger is. Um, the details on this map are pretty cool. Oh, not map, sorry, on this, on this mod. It's pretty cool. I quite like it, um, including that little shoot here, the sawdust or wood chips pouring out again. So it's burning some, it's producing some at itself at the same time. A bit like the saw, Maru sawmill. And over here is the um, wooden pallets. Now I don't know if these will work with anything else. Um, uh, you have to obviously try this out for yourselves at home. Um, to say this is, I've not really done much with this mod. I've only just literally brought it in just to show the uh, honey mod, or the honey farm mod working. And as soon as I ran across the problem, I figured a lot of other people are probably going to be running across the same problem. Um, these are slightly different to the Maru or the standard sawmill. As you can see, they've got this nice, lovely. Uh, Textures on there. Wrap. That's the beginning to look like pallets are done. Same 100% on that one. What should happen, see, now it's just to help out. It, Continues on the next pallet. Let do that on all sides. What I'll do is just get grab my telehandler. Quickly really pick this up, so then it's the right way up. Don't do that, home kids. It's really dangerous. 
You stupid. <laughs> right, there we go. And you wouldn't... Well, unless you're super strong, you wouldn't be able to lift that. Right. Let's go and get the pallet. identical in everywhere but there must be there must be something in the script that stops this one they're even come up with the same description both empty pallets they look identical down to the last detail Oops. Nope. I could lift it up from that pallet technically, but I won't. Giant's physics to the wind. There we go. Drive that over to the R. And as you can see, it straight away just goes wallop and it's in. Turn it off, and I'll start speeding up time. I'll hit the right button. You can see that it makes the generic noise of a conveyor belt, except for the sort of bees always seem to buzz anyway. They must be the world's laziest bees. Um, one thing I would say, if the modder is listening, um, and I, you maybe already thought of this already, but it came to me as an idea. Um, Rather than buying the flowers from the shop, why don't you update this mod so then you can actually grow your own flowers in a greenhouse um, and then bring the flowers over to this, then produce your honey. It's just another avenue, just another idea for you, if you are listening, which I doubt. But, um, It would be definitely be a cool idea. Um, let's bring up the dialog box so you guys can see it's working away. It does take a while to produce. It's not a quick process. What I'll do is I'll pause it here and then I'll come back to you when the pallet is full. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see, it takes a fair while for it to produce a pallet worth. It's one of those slow burners, as I'd call it. Um, so you've got to bear that in mind. Once you've got a full pallet, Sorry, my keyboard's just quit on me, sorry. I always use a keyboard for flying, positioning, steering, and the fact that the problem is with my wheel, I've still not reconfigured my buttons yet. So every time I turn my wheel, my mask goes out. Chance physics for the win. There we go. Right. Once you have got the pallet, you can now take it to 
to your, uh, if you have one, sales point for the honey. Skillful enough. There we go. Drive it up to the sales point and it should just start disappearing just like that. If you don't have this mod, um, there should be a link if I haven't already put it in popping up in the top right hand corner now um, for that mod showcase. Um, but you don't necessarily need this mod for this to work. Um, it's just another avenue for those people that do um, have this mod to produce honey. Uh, you get 22,000 out of it. Uh, I guess it can fluctuate as well. Um, but there is another. What I'll do is I'll put a link, another link in the description um, for a sales point, which the snake does as well. It's like a little mini placeable warehouse that sells pretty much any pallet which he you've got he's got this is fruits um, and everything else um, but let me just jump over back over to the actual back over to the mod itself and then I'll say goodbye um, but I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the mod showcase if you did um, please feel free to like um, if you didn't enjoy this for any reason, um, please feel free to dislike as well. Um, but please uh, leave a comment down below so then I can improve in the future and uh, make my content better for you guys and girls. Um, if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, again guys and girls, um, please feel free to um, share. It helps me out a lot and I don't mind you sharing. It might also help someone else out that's got stuck. Um, and if you're new to my channel and see future um, mod cases or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.